morning. I love those days when I don't have to touch the wind chimes for them to sing. This is just the wind. <laughs> so faint and delicate and beautiful. Let's start this session by taking a deep breath together. Exhale all the crap that's been carried around inside and all the stuff that's touching your lives that is not you. The weight. Deeply inhale in. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three. Four. Let's do it again. Exhale. Breathe in the love, the gratitude, and hold it in. Wash it around in your body. Swirl it around and let it out into Mother Nature. <sighs> All that love and gratitude that you may or may not be feeling, but you do hold it within you as we all do. We all are capable of, of holding love and of having gratitude. And sometimes it may not be as easy to access because of adversity or perhaps something you're going through in your life personally that's challenging. Maybe it's something that someone has said about you or done something to you. Because <laughs> there is certainly that going on in my life right now. Uh, but I have been advised by very wise people to ignore it. And that is not my go-to reaction. When something arises that... Um, is defamation or assassination of my character. My first response is the tiger, the, the warrior to rise up and say, you don't know me, how dare you? you ah, don't, you can't do this to me. And uh, I think that my lesson is contained within this, within this reaction. I spoke about it yesterday, about being defensive, being that little girl who didn't feel protected or supported, and learning that I, uh, to get protection, to feel supported, that I needed to do it myself. Thankfully, I now have others as an adult that, that know me very well and who support me and protect me. But when I was a little girl, I didn't feel like I had that. And my mother worked and I had four children, four girls, and my dad wasn't there very much. So I, I didn't have that, that feeling that I was shepherded and, uh, or guided. And so because I didn't have that gift as a child, because I believe it is a gift to have that, I had to learn it on my own, and I learned it later in life, and, and, and taught it to my children. And so they're gifted with guidance and support and protection for um, not just physical, but for their psyche, for their emotional state, for their spiritual well-being, for um, I've always protected and supported who they authentically are as people because who knows them best? I know them from when they were children. They're no different. The babies that they were born, they still have those same qualities. It's the behaviors, the behaviors that are learned. Um, our personalities are sort of given to us when we come out, or perhaps even before. 
So, yes, I am undergoing a, a new challenge. I, um, <laughs> like I said yesterday, I won't go into it. Um, and uh, again, this, this is a lesson. And so I figured if you are faced with adversity and challenge, the best tool that you have at your fingertips in your heart is gratitude. So I'm using gratitude. <laughs> I woke up this morning and, and I was grateful for feeling good physically. I opened my eyes and I was grateful for the, for the view for the mountains, for the desert. And I rolled over on my side of the bed and I put my feet down and I was grateful the people that support and protect me. My family, my children, my parents, my sisters, my friends, especially my fabulous, fabulous friends and those that know and love me for so long. and. I'm also grateful for my patients. I'm grateful that I'm grateful that they're grateful. I'm grateful that I can be there to help them in their time of need when they need it most. I am grateful for the truth. Uh, here's my little table here, the things that I honor. Um, these are rocks that my grandkids made. Here's one. Everything happens for a reason. Don't forget, uh, there's lessons and everything that happens, good or bad, or I mean, let's not even judge. And then this one, this is uh, doing the right thing when no one is watching. And that's integrity. And these are the things that I honor on my altar. And, uh, and this one, which is a little mangled, I noticed, which is symbolic of what seems to be happening to the truth nowadays. This is my, this is at the, this is the epoch of my altar. And this is honoring the truth and everything that flows down from the truth. I, I really hold the truth. Uh, what's true in life, what's true. And that truth includes integrity, being impeccable with your word, impeccable actions, words, deeds doing the right thing when Noah's watching uh, everything happens for a reason these three things are so valuable in facing challenges and adversity um, another one that's really good too is this too shall pass because everything does but most of all we pass Look at that beautiful warm desert sun shining down. Mm. So good to be with you again today. Um, so let's get another sip of our warm fluid. I'm so grateful for my warm fluid. Mm. I'm grateful for being able to go to the bathroom in the morning. <laughs> uh. Being, I'm grateful for my fingernails. I can scratch when I have an itch. <laughs> oh, I am grateful for you. I am grateful for Joanna from Canada who finds that listening to my morning meditations is soothing. And uh, I find that reading your beautiful words of thanks and gratitude and inspiration. I find them very soothing and, uh, and meaningful to me. And I appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys for being here on this journey with me. These uh, growth lessons that are coming hard and fast and, and uh, I'm grateful that I'm, that I'm still strong enough in body, mind, soul, and spirit, and heart to take these hard lessons that are coming and grow and learn from them. And uh, 
I do this by being aware that they're lessons, by, by knowing that each one of these is a lesson in life. I mean, if you don't know that you're going to learn from adversity, then you just see it as something bad in your life. But it isn't. It doesn't have to be. So, how do we become aware that everything in life, everything in life, good or bad, up or down, sideways, is a lesson you have to know that it is. Take a deep breath or two or five or ten and get into this daily practice of relaxing your body silently, still and quiet and breathing and through the breath you open the door to awareness. This door opens and the metaphoric wind of beauty and truth and impeccability comes flowing into the door to freshen and clean out the space that may be filled with negative energy from whatever challenge or adversity or person or thing that's coming at you. So we can breathe fresh, clean, beautiful, devoted, loving air and nourish ourselves with this and nourish ourselves with this breath and this awareness that comes with the breath, with the intentional breath, the sitting down, the quieting your mind, the calming your heart. Taking that deep breath is how we start. <sighs> Cleansing, clearing. Hey, I see the light. There she is. Ha! Now, no matter where you are today, go out in nature. I don't care if it's minus seven, Joanna. You're doing it. It's a little nippy here today, but you know, it's California. There's sunshine and lots of space and beauty. So go out in nature today. Put your coat, your gloves, your hat, your boots. I used to live in a very, very cold climate in Delaware, and I would do all of the above when it was blowing 40 miles an hour, negative 10 those nor'easters and I would go out on the Delaware Bay with my dogs, my Samoyans and we would actually walk across the frozen Delaware Bay alone. Uh, I was alone a lot back in those days and it was so beautiful, the solitude. So here we are, level 65 baby, still going strong and becoming stronger because I know who I am. I know I am impeccable with my word. I know I'm brave. I know I'm good. I know I'm true. I am good. I am true. Say that to yourself. Dispel the doubts. Dispel the doubts. God came to me about 10 years ago, 12 years ago, and told me two things. One of them was your channels are open and dispel the doubts. Don't have any doubts about anything, especially yourself. Now go out and love hard, love yourself. Namaste. And namaste go. I love you. <laughs>